Hey, um, uh, welcome to the Go Sleep Podcast on the Sunday, as usual. Let's review Raw. Okay. Mm-hmm. Raw for review. Okay, Lou Kaiser in the ring. Spotlight, Kaiser in the ring. General, okay, I ring, Gunther. Adrian Sandman, the King of 2024. Gunther, Gunther rocks the ring on the King of the Green Corps. You suck chance. Gunther chance and the chance of all the one on one Randy. Okay, Gunther reminds crowd he beat Randy Orton the Monkey Town for the World Heavyweight Champ. Being Gunther put himself home while he joined Jazz at the World Heavyweight Champ, Daniel Priest. Gunther notes that the chance make a pretentious prestige since the current champ took a shortcut to the title. World Heavyweight Champ and Daniel Priest are after putting boundary down the toe. Priest laughs at Gunther's intuition that Priest took a shortcut that Gunther has to beat Orton. Guns in Will's eyes, Beast Corey calls a urine case he earned the money in the brain be, bank B case. Gunther didn't earn his win against Orton. Gunther says only to turn with the fa- facts that Priest still champ. Gunther will challenge for the championship. Drew Matt erupts. Crown chance for Sam Punk in the rack of match. I think he's respond. The issue in the ring. He goes on to say Punk is irrelevant because of him. That tells Gunther that he's going to be champion unless he's going to leave Gunther leaves the ring. Parts of what a priest tells Matt in the past. He was more how it ends. He's going to win his fourth world title, Clash of the Castle. Clash of the Castle. Priest won to fight for some reason. Ron Shum music hit. Dire ducks out of the ring. Turn again to Priest's face. Shum stares at the world title. Priest backs away to tell him to Duggan to handle this. Strongman versus Danny Duggan with Finn Balor. So, mm-hmm. Strongman early control when Duggan. Strowman who eats the ring pose. Strowman falls in the rain. McDougan. Strowman at the break. A living Strowman. Freight train. McDougan. Balor gets on the apron. Strowman calls for finish. Strowman knocks Balor out the apron. Carly runs down the ring. Strowman knocks Carly off the apron. Duggan hit by Strowman. Strowman. Duggan hit the ropes. Reverse. Duggan heads his into an answer. Power sign for the win. After the match, Balor and Carly attacks Strowman. Mm. Strowman clears the ring. Doug hits Strowman with a chair. Strowman's come phase in the fat. Strowman registers the chair shot, barely like convenience. Doug leads out the ring to avoid Strowman's ire. Back say the new women's world champion Morgan goes over Victor against Becky Lynch. They ain't peace find Balor and Corledo. Priest upset they failed to up talking about Strowman. Corledo told Priest that Doug is being chased by Strowman. Priest told Balor to handle this. Ricochet vs. Eagle Dragon. I saw the bell rings. Ricochet lines a drop kick. Ricochet clutches his ribs. Dragon lights Ricochet up a chops. Ricochet it's your gut. Dragon off strides. Ricochet starts a German suplex. Ricochet screams the agony each blow. Wrist cuts the blow with a bridge by Dragon up. Ricochet kicks out. Ricochet lands a few strikes. It's got Ricochet. It's flipped on his stomach. You <laughs> said Dragon off after the break. Ricochet try to dive. Ricochet try to nutter, but Dragon Off catches him. That's Ricochet in the ring apron. Ricochet line a PK on the apron. Playing a move about Ricochet. Ricochet charges 450. Dragon Off moves Ricochet off his feet. Ricochet line Duggan. Right, 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 Okay, machine gun, drop a drag it up, power about my drag it up. Drag it up, drop the top draw kick by Ricochet. Really called by Drag it up, kicks out of Ricochet, goes on top. Drag it up, cuts Ricochet out. Ricochet drags and knock it up on the top. Shrain star press by Ricochet. Ricochet gets his feet. Ron Baker appears nowhere. Speed is Ricochet out of boots. Calls it qualification. No contest. Drag it up, last few chalk. Breaker destroys Dragon of the Spear. Fish shows his referees at the ring. Anna Pierce gets into Breaker's face. Auto Spain and Final Testament versus Creepers when I mean now. Reader Erica Matias in the bell ring. 
DLP clean the range. Just got the tight their offense. Reezer hit camp hit what a rush. What a win. Winners, authors of pain. Matt saying Mr. said could have regret said regret crossing the LWO. In the range set, Mr. Seamus. Seamus could play a Kaiser fucking mess about who while he's at. Had a mess with Kaiser. Seamus is back when he gets on Kaiser. Kaiser appears on Tron, dumps on Kame. Seamus is losing the King of the Ring. Seamus leaves the ring, go find Kaiser. Kaiser falls. Kaiser attacks him. Hi, Kaiser. Seamus fighting the stage. Separate right, referees and officials. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Backstage lunch gets along a regular pet talk. They both they both lost skank in the room, queen of the rain, but they will press on. Valkyrie crush under into your ribs and nods. Try Valkyrie Lord. Same and head kick. Valkyrie land. And now we're at soup like super. Same kicks out. Goes up. So it's closer in your ribs. Same. It cuts Valkyrie out. Sends to the mat. Same stomps Valkyrie ribs. Side D by Saint. Zane stomps Valkyrie on her apron. Valkyrie kicks out. Valkyrie just chopping the true woe. Diving double footstep by Saint. Valkyrie kick managed to get kicked out in 2.9. Valkyrie gets booted up by Saint lands insane elbow. Kai try to get in the ring, Valkyrie rolls up for the pin. Uh, Valkyrie wins. Yeah. Carlito with LW versus Carlito. Carlito rolls out the ring, trying to leave. Mr. Lands and Pooches punches for sending Carlito back to the ring. Carlito sends Mr. back in the ring post. Set the wall back right by Carlito. Mr. kicks out. Carlito telegraphed a bad body drop. Mr. Lands a kick. When we start Mysterio, but Cardio catches him. Lido slams Mysterio to the corner. Mysterio drop kicks Cardio out of the ring after the break. Cleans Mysterio's clock with a leaping elbow. Cardio works over Mysterio in the corner. Supply pass that Cardio. Mysterio kicks out. Mysterio knocks Cardio out at the top. Dive is that time on Mysterio. Mysterio falls out with a spring more moonsault. Cardio kicks out. Mysterio tried to nerd but get caught by Cardio. Cardio hit a TK. Mysterio kicks out. Mysterio knocks. Cardio to a 619 position. Cardio avoided. Mysterio tried. Spring more gets clock kick out of the air by Kalido. Kalido. Mysterio fighting the apron. Mysterio fight. Kalido in the ring post. Ben Bala helps. Text Dragon Lee. Mysterio takes out Bala with Dragon Set out of the apron. Mysterio hit the 619. Drops the dime on Cardio for the win. Mysterio wins. After the match, Mysterio attacked Balor. Mysterio laid out Balor on commentary. Just Dragonly goes off the top. Damon Priest holds it off the barricade. Attack Mysterio. Priest destroys Dragonly with a razor's edge. Mysterio drop. Mysterio and Priest to Rose. Mysterio tries 619. 9. 9. With the Priest super kicks him. Hey. He's just obliterate. But kicks and preaches, obliterates. They're all the son of heaven. Spider. Otis are trying to get over his sponsor, Reed. Otis are strapped by Gable. Reed over Otis. Reed works over Otis. Otis writes Reed corresponds like a clothesline. Gable breaks Otis by outside ring. Otis spreads over Reed by a side of Otis. Otis splash read the corner. Otis calls for a cali paper. Gable gets on the apron. Yells at Otis. Super kicks Otis. Hits up the sign for the win. Boss and Reed. Reed wins. After the match, Gable tells Otis to show some discipline. Gable takes off his belt and tells him to get the rope. Otis slowly walks over the ropes. Gable points and next to Payne turns around to him. This is what happens when you bring shame to your family. <laughs> Dupree grabs Gable's arm before he can swing down Otis. Gable parades the pre kicks out of the ring. Gable tells Tazara to sit there and watch. Mm-hmm. Simon Zane's music hits on the way. Ring. Zane checks on Dupree. 
Zane gets in the ring and Zane tells Zane all the Alpha Academy business. He'll tell Zane they're not to say another sex. Zane asks Gail what he will do about it. Zane reads, being a weak little man. Gail tries to have this again. Zane snatches the belt away. It was tested for the Gable. Zane asks her, how much credit will take from Gable? She needs to stop with Gable. So this is a crowd. Gable attacks Zane. Zane takes over. Eris pulls Zane off. Gable, Zane. What he's doing, Gable surprised Zane with a nasty German suplex. Gable beats down Zane. Otis watches the crouch. Let's go, Otis. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Women's World Championship is still a cage match. Liv Morgan versus Becky Lynch, the main event. The match started for the break. Morgan grinds Lynch to face the cage. Morgan trying to climb. Lynch cuts Morgan off, puts her back top row. Morgan slams Lynch head in the cage repeatedly. Morgan tosses Matt. Lynch lands a dud. Morgan kicks Lynch over the head of the cage. Morgan works Lynch. Lynch sends Morgan in the cage. Missile drop kick by Lynch. Morgan kicks out after the break. And then on top of the cage, this new road. Let's kick in top, and then Russian legs on like a rope. Ryan kicks out, he greets this. Now I can see it run to the ring of the cage door. Wow. In Balor, made Doug close behind. Question by Dominic is at ringside. Balor Sherman makes a hit. Soren drawing chases the Doug around the ring. Knocks Dominic to the cage door and swings. It's Lynch in the face. Morgan crawls the cage. Winner is still WWE Women's World Champion. Morgan Dominic has stayed on the ramp. So, yeah. That was Raw. That was a big Raw. And my thoughts for Raw, uh... And then, and anything's a raw. <laughs> raw is like, raw is like, I don't know. Raw had some things, but most of the things, like, like raw was okay this week, but I still, I still, still felt sad for Becky Lynch leaving WWE, letting her contract run out. But it's, it's good news that she's going to AEW, so I feel better. So yeah, that was raw and. Now we go to the wrestling news. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think I, I got. I got two. All right. I managed to get three. Uh, I get three news. So. Let's start with AW TV notes this week. Take closure show at midnight rampage six PM again. So AW has an interview schedule for this week on television. No, that was from last night. Sudden man. You already know what happened. Yeah. The last time I talked about from last night for the week. AW running in California, I'll just California's Monday night. This Wednesday is Wednesday twenty ninth. That happened this week that happened this week. 24 for the post double and not the episode of AW Dynamite. I don't want to spoil anything. If you haven't watched it, if you if it, if you have missed it, well, go look up the results. You'll find out more. So. The schedule for the show is the Forbidden Horror Guest in the Outline for the AW World Title Opportunities as on Cal's offer a contract with a member of Don Cal's family. And I was like, Orange Cassidy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, AW Class Legend with Tape Show this week with a company film matches segments for the episode. Say at the Arena in Palm Springs, California. The show schedule air via TNT Saturday, June 1st, 24. Rampage will always get air at 6 p.m. early evening due to Angel TK coverage. The show will be a tape episode airing on May 31st, 2024. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. 
Uh, let's go to the details of where Eddie, Eddie Kingston undergo surgery. That's hard to news. I'll tell you, Eddie Kingston. I'll tell you, according to PW Insider, AW Star sent the surgery on a touring cell on July 8th. For this, Matt King waiting for the tubular fracture to heal. Post surgery, his recovery will take up to 10 months. During in New Japan, Rodriguez came to face again. Oh, well, was the last man standing. He entered like the brain muscle ate under the table. And guardrail originally, Kingston was supposed to participate in the arc. Double nothing, but Alan Darby took his place. So, Kingston is a former Orange World Champion, string of New Japan Strong, Open Champion, and the AEW Continental Champion. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so all right, one more news for now. The medical updates for on Ann Coltman, John Perry, Darby Allen, double or nothing. Following double or nothing from uh, on the last from the pay-per-view. Last night, I. Let's see. Double or nothing 2024 had a MSG last had an event and marked five years of the AEW's first show. So here's the update on the big stars following the event. Akko retained the title. It's still okay. Bar, R.Y. is still okay. So the TNT championship retained. But it looks like the AR Superstar got hurt when she had to die for top of cases. It's a very couple of injuries currently. But it's hopefully not serious. Jack Perry, the lead, because they cut young bucks with Futurus over Team AEW, Brian Dennison, at the R.R. Darby Allen, double nothing main event. Perry got sprained in the match, but doing fine, sustained no major burns. Allen's on the bangs are pretty bad in the main event. We'll take the nearby hospital said We do fine, no severe injuries. Keep you updated. So, yeah. Mm hmm. So yeah, um, I'll see it. Uh, let's go straight to Dynamite now for our Dyn- AEW Dynamite review. All right, let's get to AEW Dynamite. Yeah, Dynamite. All right, here's my thoughts on it. This week, Dynamite. We kicks out TBS champ Monet. Comes to the ring solo championship celebration. Monet asked the crowd if she was worth the wait. Once again, everyone, that Monet changed everything. Monet puts over a double or nothing Will Nightingale, but since she was too, too nice, she could have told her that Chris. So, halfway are going to turn on her. Monet, she hopes he's back. She'll kick Stanley in halfway's ass. Miss Monet, Monet says she knows she has a target on her back. She was champion. Sky Blue appears on the Chion, revealed that she was the one who attacked Monet back several weeks ago. Blue shows up to attack Monet for a high layer out. They show a video of the Elite rising at the arena early in the day before. Player a pack via pack to recap is somebody's double or nothing pay per view. AW World Champion Sora Strickland has not on the face kill switch. Sora Strickland the hit kill switch house calls for the win. Strickland called the scissor from the match, cut some of kill switch hair, retaliation for what he done to him as kill switch several weeks back. Manet will be in action later on tonight. Shavai announced that Manet Mane will defend the TBS champ later on tonight against Sky Blue. John Moxley's back to her. Well, Moxley is a bad that take an linear match against Marrero. But tonight, when he's hurt, but when the champions do, Moxley runs out all his appearance of effects for weeks. Moxley said he will continue to be a man on top of New Japan and where he wants to go. They build Jericho on the ring for Jericho's guitar show. TV time, big, great <laughs> Jericho, everything is taught her. Thanks everyone for buying his learning tree shirt on Shop AEW. Jericho also thanks the crowd for support with successful tile defense and double one nothing. Jericho brings out Bonson Hunter at Grand Keith as a guest on TV time. Jericho asks him what made him want to get sent to the Jericho Vortex. Brian Keith saying he knows a lack of respect for him in AEW. Run down his accomplishments. Keith saying he can't believe more people didn't jump at the opportunity. The crowd tell Keith to shut the fuck up. Jericho tells him to watch the language as a family show. He yells at the crowd, telling them to show respect, and Jericho trying to calm down, calm him down. Jericho says he respects Keith as a, as a bad man. Big Bill calls him bad apple. 
Jericho said a bad apple doesn't fall from the learning tree. So Samoa Joe pulled Hulk out of the Jericho fort. <laughs> Hulk comes to the ring. Security has stop him. He beats them all. Samoa Joe rises to the ring. So stare down with Hulk. Whispers something in his ear before leaving. Hulk side to leave with Joe. Gonna go to the ring. A video package placed for New Japan and CML. Seeing Stephanie Baker teeth and her involvement in Forbidden Door next month. Okay, okay. IWGP will have a chance. John Moxley defeat Macamara in the Eliminator match. John Moxley hit Romero with the Death Rider, scored the pin roll. It's a reach. Come on, Joe. Hook up backstage with Renee Paquette. Samoa Joe said they all exist on Jericho's time. Junior Jay's men exist on their own time. Both men walk away. Don Cows comes to the ring holding a contract for the next member of Don Cows' family. Cal says something is pointing to say the, the crowd boos heavily. Ow! I'm sorry. I'm just Cal is talking about country in his hand. And he says it's been a pleasure. Scott got a talent like her and Cassie. Don said when he sees Orange, he sees himself. Orange cats come to the Cal's ring. Cal says it's a moment the world has been waiting for. Cal hands Cassie a contract. Cassie trades represented in front of him. Cass said, Cassie said no, try to walk away, but Cass spins around and said no one said so to him. The new ne- member of the Don's Cass family is Cassie takes off his sunglasses, interrupted by stuck halfway Chris Taylor. Halfway said nothing is nothing about how Cassidy he likes and says he's just like Will Nightingale. Sam is saying one on behalf of her best friend. He accepts Cass's interview of Don Cass family. Trent Barretta appears in the ring tag on Cass for high. This cross, fuck you, Trent. Beretta busts Cassie open and hugs Callis. Champs, you sold out. Garcia and Rowdy Mallory are in backstage. Garcia and Mallory makes us say no. He's won a shot at Osprey and the AEW International Champion. Garcia says he's going to climb up the rankings, take that title, and may Osprey bag later on in international flights. Mercedes and Monet defeated Sky Blue to retain the TV's champion. Monet hits Sky Blue to moneymaker to score a pinfall victory. Vancouver come out on stage, holds out the New Japan Strong Women's Champion. Monet holds out the TBS Champion, responds teasing a match for a fitting door. The tease. Monet Paquette backstage trying to get half day on Cassidy. So halfway, and can't stand her, moved her out of the way. Halfway, Barry's Will Nightingale explain why they tore on her when Willow won the four away. Also, Stanler, Stanler says she does something for her once. She gets booed for she made the change she did. Sandler says she's dumping and protecting everyone when he protects it from her. A video plays recapping NGS return to AW double. <laughs> AW double or nothing. The elite celebrate their win at Eric in the arena. The arena comes to the ring. Kasucha Carter says shout to the bitches to the crowd. Jack Perry says the elite runs all elite wrestling bars by how they won Anarchy in Arena despite being set on fire. Nicholas Jack says it's been a fantastic week for the elite. Nicholas says the new show is the hottest rebook shoe in the new years. They good. O'Connell and Murray, Guinea. Matt Johnson addressed uh, Emma Copeland's injury at double nothing. Matthew says he's told Copeland to break the leg. Matt, you feel like he's jinxed. Jackson announced that Copeland has been stripped of the AEW TNT Championship. Matthew presents Jack Perry with the TNT Championship. It's written by Christopher Daniels, who now he's not in our vice president of Danny W. They was saying we're not giving the title away. If Perry wants to be a champion, you'll have to earn it. Oh, shit. They said there'll be qualifying matches weeks ahead, and the winners will go to Forbidden Door for wrestling for the vacant TNT champion. In a lot of our match, Christopher said the first five match will take place on Friday, this rampage. The elite tried to attack Daniels, but he's backed up by the acclaimed Billy Gunn. For a Strickland person on our backstage, Strickland's curious and who's challenging with tonight's main event. Strickland and knows who will step out in the house and stomp out. His official NJ will return to AEW Dynamite next week. Roosh is backstage, cuts a quick pro and calling out NJ for a future match. It's time for the main event of Dynamite. The Lost Bay actually enters the Findor Gas- Casino Gauntlet match and wins. Here's the entrance. One, Jay White. Two, Pac. Three, Misty Cole. Number four, Will Ospreay. Number five, Shuda Omino. Number six, Kyle Casanoli. Number seven, Leo Rush. Number eight, Arch Cassidy. Number nine, Hit 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 Shiro. 
So Osprey hit the Oscar Os Cassidy to score the pinfall victory. So Swerve comes out the ring, face out Osprey AEW Diamond as it goes off the air. So what do you think of this week's AEW Diamond overall? So yeah, so what was your favorite match? Second, uh, and honestly, yeah, my thoughts on the, my favorite match was like it was the the Cassidy the God match. My favorite match in my opinion, the segment where Orange Cassidy was really good. It was great. So my thought of Dynamite this week was fantastic. The episode of Dynamite. That is my opinion. So now we go now after that. Let's go straight to Ring of Honor. All right, Ring of Honor. Let's go to Ring of Honor now. Okay. This week's Ring of Honor Club is the Ring of Honor World Ta Women's and Tag Team Champs on the action tonight in the show. Uh, Athena wrestles via Van and proving our match. While well, Taven and Mike Bennett set to face Colorado and Jacob Watts. Man. For the next week's episode, we're Tate Pyramidly in Vancouver, Portland over Tight Flight and Portland Horseman taped this weekend. And, uh, Alright, TV time. Bye. Alright, TV. Oh, she was. Alright, TV announcement this week. Here's a round up. Nina versus Viva Van. The, 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 the tag team title proving ground match with Kamara versus Never Caught. The Undisputed Kinder versus Nick Kamara and Dick of Watts. Proving ground match. The Rook Horseman, J.J. Drake, Henry for Top Flight. Pure Athletes, Ari Devari, Tornies vs. Bollywood Boys, G. Johnson vs. Aaron Soul vs. Aaron John Dry, Shepard Tico vs. Brady Roberts, Red Velvet vs. Kel, Zach Knight vs. Sebastian Wolf. Don't put a show that cars run down, and Athena ran down the ring, that is. We have our World Champion defeat via Van, a proving ground match. Well, both were in the ring, there was a proving ground match by Van at the last 10 minutes of Pin the Chair and Elder Secure. Tama, Tasha, Athena was confident, top, te teasing, taunting, he can go as far as off her vintage of Tesla Stray. Man held her own, gave her good, good, and she tight arm breaker forced Athena out of the ring. Hold on. You know she has a TV VCR and stereo. Hold on. Go to my room. I guess uh, Athena tried to play quick with a heavy kick to the head, but getting a little side of the clock took the way. She the you know, whips, but they were worked and she held control during the, during the match. Wait. Eventually, Athena kind of toying her van and covered it down to one, two, three. Athena wins. Orich will tattoo chair the kingdom, defeated the cover and make a boss of proving crown match. Uh, following the second period of match tonight, Colorado and Watts need a pin to wrestle the champs to a 10-minute draw, locking a shot. Tag titles, Colorado gave two really nice code of honor handshake opponents. The match began, Colorado was the biggest out of ring, heavy strikes, and small Tavian. Colorado tried to tag Watts, but Watts convinced he could handle it on, which is sink. Tavian did a cat go, and Bennett into the knot, Colorado, Colorado right back, though. So. Keep it well, Bennett team on the heel. Watts again convinced Kamara he didn't need to tag him. Bennett scooped off his color driver to get the win. Watts then re entered the match and yelled at Kamara after the match. And really Kamara to cheer for him. Pentacle defeated the Brady Roberts. A solo alley for the Pentacle's week was the baby a mean mask. Also, the baby week. Roberts is a potent book compared to the same size. The past pays lots of reasonable match. And Brady has. <laughs> Hines <laughs> with a match clean and little tough knee to Sepatico's back and severed uh, Sepatico face down holds the tape as well. Sepatico came back with a some devastating chance of coin spite. Brady said so effort. He built to a bulldog without Sepatico. Lost Sepatico to hit a big satan. So they got the pin. Murray Shepard. Maria Shefford Efford in the back by Lexi Lair. They 
discuss Shepherd being a problem. No one in ours can solve. Shepherd mentioned if we don't can care the problem, it gets worse. Care the problem. It will to be a kill. Velvet into the cheer the crowd. Kill the former basketball player. Basketball player. Several inches tall. The velvet is a factor. Those was able to keep her off her feet. Cutting off the advantage. Velvet kept Kel on the mat. So there was a shoulder on the knee. Eventually she wore her down. Pick up the pin. Suddenly done it though. The end of hit. Velvet turned her face off. Velvet to a sick attack with Billy Sarks. Sarks bashed Velvet's face to the arch with a TV top belt knocking and his eyes bolt as the refs tend to Velvet in the ring. Zack Knight defeated Sash and Will. The other night is had a great orange on Rampage. Well, not right to the time his gear off for a match, which very crowded opponent. Knight immediately tossed Will to the mat, rain blows on him. Will fall back, tried to chop Knight with a little effort. Knight popped in pound kick ball for the quarter. It sounds more like a bar fight than a match. Knight hit a base on super, hit a two count, yanked Wolf up, tossed him around, and that's a Larry for the two. Pull up, five, Knight hit a knockout punch on Wolf, three count. Hmm. Lee Johnson defeat Aaron Solo and John Dry in three match. Johnson saw so Andre on something like three sized triangles, where so that match had energy to the start. Solo tried to get a jump on my big push, but it backfired, Dry said. Rain Johnson and tried to change moves to solo rejoin. He was quickly. The rain was back to Johnson and Dre. Solo match gets Johnson out of the rain. Took on Dre. Try solo. Try to slow things down. I drive again. Johnson and Dre sent to the mastery and not each other about. Solo trying to big dump of the top rope. Only that two of a car and Dre. Johnson and Solo had to face the next off. Big day about by Bond Johnson. Try to try to stay with some of Saul and Johnson. Only two, two count, two men. Seven near falls. No man chain later. Try to eat an Aaron super kick from Johnson. Slam solo got the pin for the win. Why, why do birds fly? Why is the sky blue? Who knows the answers to these questions? Who is actually very So this is what you do. You can just You can You can do But that's the problem. That was somewhere. Eh. Uh, okay. The pair of athletes to be the Hollywood boy, nervous Harvey, slowly ran out of the clever hockey team, connects the crowd to Spain, and cherry out the bottom of boys into the bear. Jersey to have a huge ovation. The very reason why we will start time for the fans to make Cavs among us a great, get two great opponents. The very athletes. Fire drop the boys up. Arab government ready for a fought athlete sunny. Garbage there and the legal man. Street house. Father tried to continue to beat down. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. All right, man, I hate you. Well, silent night. Hi, man, I hate you. 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 I hate Nice manage to let a hump handle driver over a through and Perry Athlete took on the victory. They drive the volleyball boys back into the ring, just as the puncher until the intricate ring chairs, even the odds. Chase the river athletes out of the race to talk with the boys. A pitcher appeared promoting Don Castle RH versus Ring of Armor T Tail Champion Fletcher for next week's show. <laughs> I like to feel the work horseman. It was a main event spot for Drake and Henry Street. They had a lot of their place with top flow. Kane to the rain of Johnny, who had just completed their cause of chain. He was been on ears era tour. Harry had started to kick things out since so chain. The match felt raised really at the top. At these days, they had great peasants in the ring. Drake entered the match, started to sell, and I noticed that they chopped Darius Dart. So Chad did. Back on the back, Drake. Drake's just saw it. I saw the guard, but Tanya double saw Henry. 
on uh, a link to count, but no matter. Hurstman, Darius Holmes, Hot Tire, <laughs> Big Man, Ray Cameron, fuck that. Ooh. That's right. 13. Yeah. Wait. I can't remember that. That's a fact. No lie. Captain, Darius kicked out the ring. What? You forget my point. Alright, three, Luke and Brandon Henry, so they go repair jaw, he landed a series of hard punches, Chain Henry, Dwayne were illegal men, Matt landed a side slide on Henry, get the pin for the top flight, so yeah, that was Ring of Honor, uh, so yeah, that was Ring of Honor, and yeah, so it's, so next we'll review SmackDown, then Rampage, and then Collision, and that's about it. Alright, let's get to SmackDown now. SmackDown, okay. The SmackDown this week. This week's SmackDown features a ceremony official crown Nia Jax as Queen of the Ring. She successfully defeated Via Valkyrie in the finals of the tournament on Saturday. We saw Tonga Loa, Tama Tonga, in action this week in the Battle of Montez Ford and Angela Dawkins. Loa's show in ring debut <coughs> for WWE. Andrea also looked. <coughs> okay, so. Looking to build some momentum, he took on Pelicuda's single competition. Let's see what happened this week. Tommaso Chopper was on theory at the recap video for King and Queen of the Ring. Nick Aldis welcomes the show, brought Nine Jacks to celebrate winning the Queen of the Ring. She met at Bailey come to the ring and trade with all two out of the advocate. Bailey could get into the aisle, Nibbin, and goes Green Tactor until not Jax. It will be Nibbin facing Jax at SummerSlam. She's going to win the title for Bailey. Jax and the Sangu saying she would be wherever she faced. The first match of the night was booked before Shirley Bay Say Sangu Jung. Gargano is coming to jump up to the ring, Tay on Theru. Grayson Wallet, slide. I slide. Sand Edge Rope Man has a signature move, but guys, it rings. Oh, but Kenya is not close to winning it once or twice. Chop ended up using Waller's destruction. And there's the Pantera score the win. While well, both men are front of watch, it was hard to best the outcome. No one, no matter what happened, DIY is going to get the house shut soon. Chop up the <laughs> Chop up the fear theory. Huh? <coughs> The crown fits perfect on Jack's head this time. It didn't fit so well as pay-per-view, but had her held the hair up, helped. We saw HSL showing Elder's from Mike on time on the mic. It was looking emotional. It was obviously teased the tournament announcement. Theory neck bringer looks good when he hits, but it looked too awkward to set up his opponent. Andrade versus Apollo Cruz. The next match saw Cruz taking on Andrade, who's climbing off and Eagle Dentas was on the show. These two have several matches that I made in Russell for the years, but it came in about with established chemistry. The great thing about both men is they two of the most high, high, high flowers, flowers working today. Both men are like tanks. Almost no effort. The match has some exchange. Andrew Garza shot the ringside, shared on Illinois, and pick up the win with a little bit of help. The rest of the Eagles, they're fantastic, okay, on stage. Andre walked right past them. Garza looked weary and so shirt Santos Asqua fixed this. Andre defeated Cruz. There was a backstage segment when Aldous granted Naomi Bailey a tag match against Green and Neva and Elena was shown to ask about Logan Paul. Mm -hmm. Grills of Destiny vs. Street Profits. Right. Kevin Owens. Yeah, you know, probably will talk about how Orange didn't really lose the KO Rain tournament, but since Viper wasn't there, we're going to focus on the bloodline stand. Heyman came out and tried to convince Owens to back off for his own safety. Heyman almost had a bit of meltdown. It caused KO to attack him. The blood showed up, but the three prophets came as backup. A huge brawl broke up. Solo and KO fought to the backstage area where everyone was fighting the ring. This led to a tag team match between Guerrero and Dustin and three prophets that were ready to schedule take place. He made it be fab, but we'll watch her inside for dog control the pace again. Time of the longer match went competitive. It became nobody ever had a control for too long. Play a back and forth sequence. 
Even though WWE didn't make a deal of his debut, he was in Taurus since first outing alongside his brother. While it was a good match, it was hard to look past the fact that Lowe's in ring debut didn't feel like a big deal because WWE didn't do enough to hype it up. GLD should feel more important, but so far they're just messing with the coast until something interesting happens. GOD defeated Profits. Heyman was shown trying to talk to Solo Sokoa backstage for the segment. He wanted Sokoa to focus on strategy and less on violence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, anyway. Oh, yeah, and Bailey versus Chelsea Green and Pepper Niven. This week's main event was a tag team set up in the early show with Bailey now taking on Green and Niven. It was a high energy, fast paced match that allowed all four women to show up a bit. Naomi was definitely one of the bigger standouts. Somewhat of a surprise outcome, Green and Niven were able to get the win over Naomi and the women's champion and Green pin. We had the Niven did all the work. Green and Niven got defeated Bailey and Naomi. Niven get uh, gonna get more agile. She moved around a bit quicker than she used to. Anyway, AJ speaks the in final word, my word this week. She probably smacked that into the promo. Stanhill's asked for her to show up before he went to the ring. He got Cody Rose backstage something in his ear. Luke uh Luke and Luke Luke Gallows and Ion Anderson were him with Mia Yim were not present there being asked if I was about Braston for the show. Styles talk about seeing his son graduate high school said a moment hit when he really he missed a lot of moments like Rhodes to join the ring, he called the match Rhodes one of the best ever. They traded words and hung for post across several times where Styles put him down on a clothesline. Predictable turns we have seen in years. This was a milk in the announcement made it clear his miles away that Styles will do this. He delivered a Styles class depths the floor and the show that was down the middle out so sad that we saw such a decent attributes that show you catch up to the social media and not miss a thing. Yeah, that was this week's SmackDown. And yeah, this week's SmackDown. So Let's go straight to... Okay, so now we go... Oh, yeah, we go to Rampage. I forgot Rampage. I forgot Rampage. <laughs> forgot Rampage. It's a good name. Yeah, let's, let's do Rampage. I'm, I kind of forgot about it. Sorry. Uh, okay, let's do that. Uh, okay, let's go to... All right, I found the Rampage notes. Um, I'm going to say... Okay, this week's Rampage... Air social time at 30 p.m. It's what it is. Kudos carry face the Penta. AW Women's Champion Storm face View Event. Rhea and Phoenix clashes at Cassidy. Here's the result. Let's let's talk about it. Rhea and whatever. Penta Tashi squared off. Feel each other out. They even match early on. Tashi gains an advantage, but Penta sends outside. Tashi slams Penta on the apron, grounds him. Penta Tashi tries to blow. Penta rocks Takashi, can't eat the sit blow. Takashi drops Penta with a brain buster. Takashi can the control the action. Penta rails and Takashi Matt with takedown. He gets rolling with a dies onto Takashi's ringside. Takashi right back and wheel for the slip leg. Penta rails to destroy on the apron. <sighs> okay. Mm, that didn't do. Mm. Takashi was on a blue thunder bomb for two count. Takashi said, no, splash him in the knee. Scores a win on a knee strike. Mm-hmm. Uh, Takashi wins. Mm. Act stage. Jericho standing by Bay Bell and Ryan Key says he will step down for his role. Aiden Carter. Dynamite collision for more in the future. Give me your phone, okay? Hand up your phone. You have me your fucking phone. Okay. I'll stay 
Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. She's so deep at this. She's so deep. You are in her own life. No, you're not. Oh, God. Yes, nobody will talk. Uncle, but he's not going to listen to him. Back to the kingdom of the rush. I get here all the time. Ava. Oh, Sarah Strong just lost a double or nothing. Strong said he was supposed to be attempt entering the outlet match at Dynamite. Match ended early. Challenge Leo Sprush for the AEW Collision. Say he's coming for a stress record, the AEW World Champion. Sarah Singh and Sarah Doug versus Peter Avalon. Team Lockley got in the match to get Alan Champ. Our powers and dominates him. Skin scores a win a bear hug. Sarah Singh. Backstage, Page Page. Backstage, the cage of agony, Ryan Cage, the gates of agony. Start fresh on collision Saturday. She up and challenge. The trail shows up a cage of agony. Continue to hype themselves up. During during forces with them. Justin and Pizza on the rampage. You ain't got that every hand early on. She and Storm face her off. Storm takes control of the van at the outside. She has to control the action. She grounds Van. Van grounds some strikes. Van Storm. Some blows around. And her Storm kick and rocks with some strikes. Drops Van. Remember Suplex. He hits me. Hit my side. Storm is there for the win. Bassey Hard Cancer and Master Mary May had a good man, they had died in dynamite. See a peel. There's no. There's no. Uh, Ryan, Kyle Ryan versus John Cruz. All right, to fight the Cruz right away. Hit Cruz with six strikes. All right, maintain the advantage. Make Cruz tap out the iron paper bar. Winner Kyle Riley. Backstage, Tony TV says the entire came to AEW find the best wrestler on the planet. John challenges Casanova to match on the AEW Collision. We Phoenix with versus let's say Cassie. Phoenix and Cassie feel each other up with some fast paced offense. They continue going back and forth. Keeps rolling with her offense. Cassidy fires up. The match heads outside. They keep balling outside. The competitors run and turn into the ring. He's taking Cassidy down. Avalanche, Hurricane, Cassidy rolls with a kick. Phoenix with a rope as his cutter. Dies on to the ringside. As Cassidy. He rounds Phoenix. Phoenix fires up. Cassidy drops from the destroyer. Phoenix drops that boy. That time, Don, don't call. Blast Cassidy with a kick. Frog Splash gets Phoenix too. Phoenix signed Cassidy with a double hook position for the win. Phoenix wins. Phoenix celebrated. The show ends. And yeah. That was Rampage. So yeah, this was Rampage. And, and yeah. Now let's go straight to Collision. Alright, last one, Collision. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. Alright, this week's Collision. This week's collision with a follow up here for Double Nothing for Bitten coming out in the month. AJ saying match of cards. Here's a Saturday show. Colorado vs. Bell Spray. Casanelli vs. Joint TV. Shabada vs. Andrake Garcia vs. The Workhorseman. Thunder Rosa vs. Rio Dorado. Here Rush vs. Roger Strong. 
Shane Taylor promotion vs. West Coast Wrecking Crew. Oh, agony in action. Leo Rush vs. Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong, I can just keep going. Uh, wrong way. Okay, baby. Let me kick things off with Siobhan walking up to the other ring. Dax Howard's boring. Kiss on the left. And just bandages, hand, hand, and bandages on his head. And I can read them. At the bottom of the elite line, it's difficult. We got a new show in Jack Perry reacting. Set up fire, double nothing. We said, Master the Arena. Sean made the entrance for Roger Ben Leo. I'm gonna set back, right? Neutral, like quick neutral, little speed. Beat him down in the corner for the rage. Strong did a great job on construction, losing to Osprey at pay per view. Mike Bennett, Tevin, and Ringside. Leo had an uphill battle. Leo managed a lot of energy. He was strong. So looked dominant. This was a squash. So Leo looks like a valid competitor despite losing in the end. So strong defeated Leo. It was closely a workhorse in the intro video. We got a one annoying fan yelling over during the promo. Would a team of Roosh and Leo Rush be fun? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Then you see a Shibata versus the Work Horseman. Got to see the first off for his tag team match. And Shibata, J.D. Drake, and D. Henry. Henry made a mistake of trying to strike Shibata. I paid for him when the wrestler took him down. Had a PK. Drake went down the rinse and appeared in the knee injury. Doctor checked on him while Henry took over the action. Then a break. Drake appeared to have a cover a bit. Not a fast, but he could tell Lee was still an issue. It was a real injury. Right, he was selling it, it was pretty brilliant. A smile late match rallying the Rick Horseman. Garcia Shibata scored the win with a cap on solid match that was almost slightly impacted by the potential injury. Shibata Garcia defeated the Rick Horseman. Henry was recently retired by Ada after short absence. It was great to see him back in full health. Drake was trying to re hard Drake off the injury with an apron. The moose fault of Drake looked awesome. Thunder Rolls also ran Dorado. The Rolls was making an AWD weekend at match against Rosa. Except for a loss of their product, double or nothing. They shook hands. And enjoying Rosa got to jump out. He was a held a punishment. Coming trying to trace Trey's line. There were a few hits for her. I her trying to bomb the two count. This is the word. The immune lock is mission for the win. Great, reload. Where are you going? Don't play the man. Don't slip. Sit the ball. I don't know how they're going to act. There's just a very serious issue. They were not. They were going to pay on each other. They have this right now. Short and eventful, but everything did was executed very well. Rosa defeated Perazzo. I mean, Arena Dorado. So, man, uh, Rosa won with a pound and a half for a paint. Sweet, the cool. Crowd was quiet like Dorado was on a familiar talent. Came to Agony in Action, Clara Castle and Fisher Giant TV. Ryan K. Antonio and Bitch Conway, Ray Action against Danny Rosa, Ricky E. Came with easy squash for Catch of Agony. Side so being one of the easy victories that people have gotten, it was a couple of fun spots make them look like a blue trio. Kate, Cage of Agony won. Giant TV company to the ring by Tiny Bass, Fair Match Guy Casanoni. Have anyone from Bull Club, Battle Club Combat Club went ahead? The match played out exactly. Three similar Superman power throw Johnny around while high jelly so his opponent's offense. It's a move of its own. Falcon helped strike Casanoni to hurt with a little blow, but it wasn't enough to get the win. They they continued um have a competitive fight, commercial break. Competitive fight, commercial pressure break, but Valkyrie keep trying to conserve herself. You have to settle of, of incense interference. The four are we champion of the victory. There was a bit too much interference with a uh, response on the ref. Most of the song was John enjoyable. Castle defeat oh, Giant TV, defeat Giant TV. And I just said the John Bertie looks like a Russian dusting doll. Johnny's dive on the rain post was awesome. Uh, 
Train Teller Promotions. Train Teller Promotions, the rest of the bus calls back from the crew. Train Teller, Lee Morrow, and Archer Guns, Royce Isaac, and Joe's Norak, Nails. They've been a first AEW appearance for WCWC, but their first radio, they've been working together since 2018, held in the fight, wrestling tag titles, even though they were a bit record organized and most hands titles. No chance, better chance at jobbers. This bout was both of John Forrest and CB, but not the best, but other press debut for Nelson and Six. This is a complete one song. It was a complete one side. It has some good action about Taylor. It's a monster. Morai looked like a type of wizard. Taylor got the win for the team. A go hit Chief Shot is over to put a special point on it. STP defeated WCWC. Isaac and Nelson are great talent. It would be cool seeing pop on the AW more often. Taylor is one of the best punches, one of the best power of in wrestling. Kyle Osprey versus Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle Ryan was This week's main event was kind of matching we began to go to the rain guarded in the rain belly. I really, I just can't hear. I'm going to close the door. I just fucking can't hear. Guarded the ring. Uh, sadly, I'm, I live with them. It's not going to do. I have money for an apartment. I'm broke. Um, all my money goes to probably my Twitch, my podcast, and stuff. So I'm fucked for the rest of my life, working, So I die. So I do have insurance, so yeah. Great. Also, Riley was the best job for working on different things. Fans, KOR, breast mission. That's it. That's pretty good. Bye, Mom. It's pretty good. High five. So it's techniques. It's very nice. Pressured. Jeez, and that. Whoa, why didn't I get him? None of this is part of I care about it. Because I, I care about you. About you. Happens. Something's gonna happen to you, son. Happens. Gonna happen. so I'm gonna cry. In the story of watching your kid, not catching him, stopping him. Uh, they start slowly gradually increase the pace, tense into a match because most hard fought catch on the card. So, what do you need yourselves? Because we need a recap action justice. If you don't know how talented you are, then you don't know how much fun this was. These two men represent the best talent. But you have yes, all for the champion version of the title match for Tainus Town. Osprey defeated O'Reilly. So, yeah, Chaos, Bayface, the crowd really favored Osprey. It was great timing. This week's collision. If anybody wants to elevate the international child, being the second night man single side, the pen on Osprey was the best decision. The man does not know how to bad match. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're great. Here's one of those rare chats elevates. Works with and himself at any time. But he's not meant to take anything for O'Reilly. He's one of the best he does. See him put a banger, banger with Osprey and made him been nothing, should not to surprise nobody. This was actually a solid show, a couple of good matches, segments. Close to being a show good as far as 20 minutes or so. Hopefully, these two cross pass again. So that was closing this week. This was Collision. All right, that was the Ugo Sully Podcast. I'll see you next Sunday. All right, bye.